Hi there, I regularly speak with entrepreneurs about their biggest challenge in leadership of people and also in leadership of their company. The other day, one entrepreneur asked me, Armin, how do I actually empower people? How do I do this? Now, my approach to this is a five front approach, which I'm going to explain to you in this video. Hi, my name is Armin L. Rao, the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a better leader. Today's video is about how to empower people. Watch it until the end to understand all the five most important points. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in this content by clicking on the red button underneath my video and don't forget to switch on the bell so that you're always informed about new contents. Empowerment, a big word, not so easy to implement as the question of one of my entrepreneur friends tells us. He asked me the other day, how do I empower the people? Now, point number one is to delegate tasks that you have. And you should, at the, uh, at the beginning, you should choose a task that you have done so far because you know how it should be done. Delegate it to a team member communicate your expectations clearly, the objective um, uh, expectations, and also, you know, in terms of measurable results, but also the subjective ones, how, how you would like somebody to behave, for example, and you should agree a deadline. So that's point number one, delegate a task that you have done before and agree a deadline by when it should be done. After the deadline, you speak with the person to whom you delegated the task and you give feedback, constructive, positive feedback in terms of the time the person used, the cost, the quality um, and the how, uh, how the person implemented that task. Uh, agree actions to improve for further performance uh, if needed and ask what else is needed to perform the task satisfactory, satisfactorily from your side. You know, ask the person what is needed. Is there may, maybe something I could do uh, so that you can perform this task better? And then you delegate a task of similar complexity, another task to the person so that that person can improve. Now that was step number two, the feedback phase. Then slowly but surely you extend the tasks either in terms of quantity, quantity, so you give this person more tasks that he or she should uh, take over uh, and or more complex tasks that you would like the person to uh, perform. And make sure that these tasks belong to one group, you know, like for example, finance, accounting or marketing or whatever, so that you later on can make sure that the person takes over a whole group of tasks which are similar. That was point number three to extend. Number four is to establish. That means you do this delegation feedback cycle for a period of say two months or three months and you repeat the cycle as often as needed until the person um, that should take over the task uh, is absolutely au okay fait with ev everything that is expected and has become an expert. And number five is to promote the person based on the positive results. You promote the person and allocate a function to her. So you give her a title, a, a role, like for example, uh, account, uh, accounting assistant or accounting manager or personal branding manager or whatever based on that experience that you have. Now, that is empowerment, slowly but surely, step by step, you delegate the tasks, you give feedback, you then extend, you establish the whole cycle, and then you promote that person to the new role. This is my take on how to empower people. I'd be very happy to have your comments. Please feel free to leave them underneath this video. The LIFE program teaches you the methods and tools of successful leadership for entrepreneurs within weeks. If you'd like to have more inspiration, click on the link underneath this video and register for my mini course, Leadership Insights for Entrepreneurs. This was Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.